Hello friends, you are welcome. In this lesson, you will learn how to identify different parts of a uh, structural element that are assembled together and how to assemble them, produce an assembly drawing like this and then be able to print them in PDF format using Tecla structure just like this 2020. Okay, so let's start. Alright, so we will start from uh, identifying which part of this uh, steel structure are uh, actually assembled. For instance, if you want to take note of the part of uh, the steel structure, like for instance, this uh, polines, is it actually assembled to these clips? So you, for you to be able to make inquiry for that, you just have to click on the polines. Once the polines is highlighted, right click, and then you will now go to inquired, and then you select assembly all right so if you notice you see assembly positions okay the main part profile you check very well you notice that uh, this polline is not assembled to this clip because how do you know because this you can see this polline showing a different color entirely okay so this particular clip is supposed to show the same color with this uh, polline okay so once this colors that this polyline is showing is not also showing on these clips you know that uh, these two uh, members are not actually uh, uh, assembled together but you can assemble them for instance if you close this one now and then you select this uh, steel uh, uh, rafter right click and then you make an inquiry okay just like that you notice now see the same color the steel uh, rafter and the clip okay meaning the clip is actually assembled with the uh, rafter all right so this is how you can check which of these are assembled together all right having taken notice of that you can also make this clip to be to assemble to this uh polyline how do you do that you just navigate to the steel tab and then you're going to use weight okay you just have to pick uh, this uh, this clip and then select uh, this uh, select the polines just like this and you notice they are welded together just like that now if you now uh, interrupt this select this particular polyline try to make inquiry and see what happen okay just like this you notice that uh, this one this this polyline the clip and as well this uh, rafter are assembled together so if we are producing drawing is going to consider this particular polines the clip and the rafter so this is how you can check and be able to add two members together to produce an assembly drawing all right so let's proceed to producing an assembly drawing for one of these uh, stanchion you select this tension right click and then you make a query just like this as we used to do if you notice that the base plate as well as the uh as well as the station are assembled together and also you will notice that uh, this uh the rafter is also assembled with this uh, particular uh stanchion and as well as the end plate all right so leaving that place you can close there now okay right click and then interrupt all right so after which if you now check this one too select this right click and then make a query for this one you zoom closely you notice the same thing okay you notice that uh, even the uh even the stiffener is also uh assembled to the stanchion as well so you can be able to produce drawing with all of this all right so i want to close this and then just so click on this particular station and i will go to uh, i'll go to drawing and report and then i'll click on perform numbering and then be able to select number modify object i click on ok so you can see numbering completed i have successfully numbered this particular station with other assembly part of it so i will just have to select it right click and then i will 
go to uh, create drawing just like this and then assembly drawing click on that so you can see you are creating drawing finished one drawing created successfully so we have successfully created one drawing okay and so i want to uh go to the document okay to the documents i will click on this assembly drawing so this is the drawing that was created so double click on it to be able to see the drawing okay i'll close this dialog so here is the drawing so i can't just i can uh, maybe uh, just expand this like this okay uh sorry that is gone i will minimize this one so we can see it all right or i will click on this place and tile this okay vertical oh sorry 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 i will have to expand this one all right after which i cannot tile it uh, vertical to have this one okay uh, so i will be having something like this let me just maximize this so you can see it very well all right so if i want to this is the drawing all right so if i want to change the logo as i have done it earlier before you can just double click on this logo and then you go to drawing layout editor so in the drawing layout editor you will be able to come to this uh this a particular logo tecla logo being selected you can right click and then click on delete to remove it just like that then you come to this art and then you can be able to check a logo that we put in the previous lesson we call it uh soft reason okay so if you scroll down uh you will see that logo okay all right so the name i used to save it uh if you screw it you see is this one uh style 4 logo 2 this one just select on it and you can be able to place it this is my logo if you follow the previous lesson you can, you can be able to uh, pass through the procedure to get the logo here okay so i'll close this so after which i can just uh, click on save as and then click on save close this editor all right so i will have the logo just like this so for me to be doing some other editing yeah i can just uh, you can see the way uh, the way the length here yeah, this one this one and this place yeah way so i can just merge these two uh word symbol together by selecting the first one hold down the control key select this other two right click and then i can mix them together like this then if i click it i can drag them to this side okay so as to reposition them in a way that it will not make the work look uh, somehow uh, uh, invisible okay so if you check this base the base uh, plate here and uh, the distance of this base plate has not been given so i can come to the dimension use horizontal dimension first click this point double click here to insert the distance of this uh the uh, width and length of this base plate just like this you check the vertical dimension and then you'll be able to insert dimension just like that okay and so if you check on this uh extension this is the pack mark you can double click on this pack mark and do some changes to it all right if you come to general you can call this pack mark using this and then this arrow you use this arrow head click on apply to have something like this okay so you can also change this to this kind of uh, numbering uh boss modify you have something like that so these are the ways you can do different uh editing uh, in this uh, particular uh, interface all right so this point and this point you are seeing is the points where you have the rod the brace rod okay so this is the anchorage point of the brace rod it's not dimension but you can as well uh, give it a dimension uh, depending on what you want to do all right if you select this you can adjust this dimension in short, short, such a way that it will not obstruct the view of other part of this uh, uh drawings okay so this is the section of the end plate we have one two three four five six seven eight boards uh opening okay for the other side and this other side that makes it eight okay so this one is just the front view this is the top view of the uh of the uh the station okay 
So this is the total length, and you can see here is the thickness of this base plate, which is 16. This phone, all right. So I haven't uh, taken notice of this different part, as you can see the full details of the station here. All right. If you check here, you can't be able to see the pack mark one, which is the UC uh, 203 by 203 by six you can see the grade as well as the length the cut length this one is the cut length check this one is the area and then the weight all of these are in this title block so this title block for me is set for printing if you want to check the scale or increase the scale just double click on this once you double click to display this scale already now is uh the scale one is to ten so you can just make it a uh, uh you can just if you zoom it this way so you can see if you make this scale uh maybe one is to seven and see what happened click on modify you see it's become bigger just like that and then you can manipulate with the scale successfully click on apply and okay so uh this is how the scale works not only in this one but uh, even in these other ones you can adjust the scale as well all right so if you check here you see this place is the stiffener this is the stiffener it is the, carrying this pack mark f8 uh, if you double click on this pack mark you can be able to come to general and then this place uh, give it an arrow head and then take this place to be a single uh, chord line and apply okay so that you can be able to have uh, something like this all right so after which uh, if you check on this table here F8, you can see this is a plate thickness 10 by 63.6, uh, which is the we use for the uh, for the stiffener. Yeah, all right. So, this is drawing now. This is the drawing now, and it is ready for uh, printing. Okay, so if you want to print this drawing in just from this uh, program, is it's not a difficult tax click on this uh, menu and then to be able to navigate to print all right so you click on print once you click on print it will show you this dialogue in this dialogue you can't be able to give the number of uh, uh, the number of uh, copies you want to print and as well the color are you going to print it in black and white or the rest of you double click here yeah, it will review the drawing for you all right and then you can be able to all this color you want don't want to see it make it black and white it will uh, effective really change it for you immediately okay so you can also uh come to this line in this line you have to increase the line thickness of this drawing using this as well as the color that you want to use for this uh, particular drawing okay also you can just go back to the uh color uh Part of it so you can be able to print the drawing in a colored and then after which uh, you can see the name of the drawing here okay the property of uh, this uh, drawing you are going to print it in a pdf you can select the uh the format you want to print it here okay and then after which you can just click on print if you click on print it will take you to directly where you will have to save this uh, printing okay so if you take you to this directory where you can just click on save if you click on save you notice that the drawing is the drawing printing is in progress okay so the uh, publishing has been made successfully so we want to navigate to that point but i hope it's going to come up on its own after the publishing is uh, completed successfully uh, so if it doesn't come up on its own we can just have to uh, just close this one of course it's coming up on its own all right which is what we are we will be having here we'll be having here so this is the drawing in pdf with this one i cannot print it out I think it is visible readable this part is also readable every part is readable okay so this is how you can effectively uh this how you can effectively you know uh, create an assembly drawing do a, a little editing on it 
and as well print it out using the Tecla structure 2020 all right so I want to believe that uh, you understand this lesson if you have any issue in the process doing it on your own you should not assisted drop your comments at the comment section so stay tuned and bye for now